Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at single percentage increase and decrease questions but this time armed with a calculator. So the way we're going to think about these questions is by using decimal multipliers. Whenever you've got your calculator with you, you never want to be working out percentages manually. In general, when these questions pop up on calculator papers, the numbers are much worse, the percentages are much worse. You don't want to be doing this without a calculator. So, let's get cracking. So, first of all, the very first, probably most important skill for this is remembering how to convert a percentage into a decimal. Now to do that, to turn any percentage into a decimal, we, multiply, uh, we divide them sorry, by 100. So, here we have some examples of turning percentages into decimals. So for 25%, we do 25 divided by 100, 0 0.25. 47%, we do 47 divided by 100, 0 0.47. 78.2%, we do 78.2 divided by 100, 0 0.782. 5%, we do 5 divided by 100, 0 0.05. 1.3%, we do 1.3 divided by 100, 0 0.013. Remember, the word per cent is saying per hundred. Cent means 100. So when we're saying something per cent, we are saying that number divided by 100. Cool. So, armed with that, there's one more thing we should point out. Whatever number we start with that we are wanting to either increase or decrease is 100% of the number that we start with. Now the uh, decimal equivalent of 100% is 100 divided by 100, which is 1. So what we're going to do now, we're going to run through four examples of percentage increase, four examples of percentage decrease, then I'm going to give you some to have a go at on your own, and then we'll have a look at... Uh, question or two at the end, uh, putting this into a question. So, let's get going. Okay, so first of all then, percentage increases. So here we want to increase 23 by 15%. So 23 is already 100% of 23. So that's the 100% that we're starting with. Now, if we're increasing... Uh, 23 by 15 percent then we're going to end up with the original 100 percent but then there's going to be an additional 15 percent added on now that's going to give us 115 percent so we need to find 115 percent of 23 then which now we use our decimal multipliers, 115 divided by 100 is 1.15. So we're going to do 1.15 times 23. Now stick that into your calculator and you will get 26.45. Jobs are good in. So 23 increased by 15% is 26.45. Okay, question two. Increase 61 by 2.4%. So here, 61 is the 100% that we start with. So we're starting off with 100%. Then we're increasing it by 2.4%. So 100% at 2.4% is 102.4%. So, we want to find 102.4% of 61. Now, this is where our decimal multiplier comes in. 102.4 divided by 100 is 1.024. So, we're going to do 1.024 times 61. And that gives us... 
62.46 for Kraken. Okay, the next two. Increase 150 by 26.9%. So, the 150 is our original 100%. We are increasing by 26.9%. So, 100% at 26.9% is equal to 126.9%. So, to find 126.9% of 150, we use the decimal multiplier. So, 126.9% as a decimal is 1.269. So, we multiply that by 150. Smash that in your calculator. Make sure, play along with the video, make sure you do get the same answers. We will get 190. Point three five jobs are given. Okay, our final increase question here. Increase fifty four by nine percent. So the fifty four is the one hundred percent that we're starting with. We want to increase it by nine percent. So one hundred percent add nine percent. Well, that's going to give us one hundred and nine percent. The decimal equivalent of 109% is 109 divided by 100, which is 1.09. So we multiply that by 54, and that will give us 58.86. Again, make sure you get the same answer. Okay, so that's our first four increase questions. Let's have a look at decrease. So, whereas with increasing questions, we added the percent on to 100%, when we decrease, we subtract the percentage from the original 100%. So that's the only difference. So here, decrease 120 by 24%. 120 is our original 100%. So we're starting off with 100%. Now we're decreasing by 24%. So we take away 24%, and that leaves us with 76%. Now we use the decimal equivalent of 76%, which is 0 0.76. So we do 0 0.76 times 120, and that leaves us with 91.2 jobs are good in. Okay, the second example, decrease 34 by 7%. So again, the 34 is our original 100%. So here we're doing 100% minus 7%. That's going to leave us with 93%. Now we find our decimal equivalent of 93%, which is 0 0.9%. Three, so we do 0 0.93 times 34 and that gives us 31.62 again play along make sure you get the same answer as me with your calculators and then we'll do another two decreases okay so decrease 46 by 1.5 percent so 46 is our original 100%. We want to decrease by 1.5%. So we take 1.5% away. Now 100 take away 1.5. Is 98.5. Running out of room here. Okay, so we're finding 98.5%. Now the decimal equivalent of 98.5% is 0. Point nine eight five so we do zero point nine eight five times by forty six and that's gonna give us forty five point three one again make sure you get the same answer 
and then let's do the next one. So decrease 268 by, that you should be a Y, decrease 268 by 19.5%. So let's start writing off over here instead. So we want to do 100%, which is our 268. Take away 19.5%. Now that will leave us with 80.5%. So we're finding 80.5% of 268, let's divide 80.5 by 100, we get 0 0.805, times that by 268, smash that in your calculator and make sure you get 215.74. Okay, so that's how we do percentage decreases. Now on the next page, I'm going to be four to have a go out by yourself. So pause the video, see how you get on with those four questions. Come back, press play. And then hopefully you will get these answers. So increase 52 by 12%, 58 .24. For that one, you would have wanted to do 52 times 1.12 Increase 130 by 17.5% 152.75 For that you wanted to do 130 times 1.175 Decrease 320 by 35% For that one uh, to get 208, you would have wanted to do 320 times 0 0.65. And then the final one there, decrease 24 by 2.5%. To get 23.4, you wanted to do 24 times 0 0.975. Okay, now we're going to look at some... Um, Examples of this in context. Okay, so here we have a typical exam type question. So a shirt costs £23, but is about to have 16% taken off in a sale. Work out the sale price. So, 100% of the original price is £23. The original price is being reduced by 16%, so as a percentage decrease, we're doing 100% minus 16%, and that would leave us with 84%. So, now let's find the decimal equivalent of 84%, which is 0 0.84, so we do 0 0.84 times 23 pounds and that gives us 19 pounds 19 pounds 32p jobs are good em. okay let's look at one more so toby's phone bill was 31 pounds in august and increased by 9.5 percent in september work out his bill in september so the original 100% is £31. Now it's increased by 9.5%. So we're going to do 100%. Add 9.5%. 100, add 9.5 is 109.5. So let's find the decimal equivalent. That would be 1. 0 0.095 multiply that by 31 pounds now if we put that into our calculators we will get 33 33.945 but remember money is always done to two decimal places so we would round that up to uh, 33 
five. So thirty three pounds and ninety five p. Okay, guys, that's uh, decimal multipliers with a calculator. In the next video, we'll look at uh, percentage or value, appreciation and depreciation, where we're doing percentage increase and decrease over periods of time. Cool. Hope it's helped. Was this video helpful? If so, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment letting me know how you get on. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss any videos. For any further information, you can find me on Facebook or Twitter. Search for Maths with Mouth. Cheers, guys.